camera. <laughs> <laughs> Want to do one big group shot? Sure. Do the shot. And why don't we get everybody in there for one? He's next to me. All right. Um, I guess first of all, what is your like official name? Okay. Well, my real name is Owen Hart, <laughs> and I wrestle as Owen Hart. Title, King of Hearts. Okay. Uh, what do you think about coming out here today? Oh, I had a great time. A little, uh, uh, people in regular society don't get a chance to see the things that uh, we get to see. And that's one of the perks of uh, being a wrestler. You know, I've seen a lot. Met a lot of people and uh, got a, a greater appreciation of what goes on in uh, the military. All right. All right, what was the best part? Uh, what I saw today or my trip to Kuwait in general? Um, in general. Well, um, I guess just, you know, going on the tanks, uh, seeing how they operate and getting, I don't think people realize, you know, they, they watch these war movies and stuff. And, and, uh, pretty intric intricate machinery. And, uh, you know, I've always known they're deadly, but you, you can really see how deadly they are. How destructive uh, they can be. If you get a chance to come out and visit soldiers like this again, do you think you'll take it? For sure. Absolutely. All right, do you have anything? <laughs> All right. First off, I'll get your name, official title, um, however you want to say it. Um, British Bulldog World Wrestling Federation, one half of the tag team champions, and the European heavyweight champion. Okay, and your name? My real name is David Smith. All right. Um, what do you think about today? I, I uh, took my breath away. You know, first started off with, start with the helicopter ride, then we came over here, and he gives a, a grand tour, showed us all the tanks, all the Stinger missiles. It, it just, uh, you don't appreciate it until you actually come and actually see what all the uh, U.S. Army guys do over here. It's, 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 really, uh, it's really intense. It's, uh, you know, I only see it on TV, you never see it in uh, real life. And it's, been real nice seeing it, in, in, you know, in, in person. What do you think of the Army fans? Um, it's funny. Every, every, everyone in the U.S. Army, they all, they all know the British Bulldogs. They all know the Owen Hart and Bret Hart. So you know, they're all still, still uh, devoted fans. Like you know, they devote themselves to the country and to the, the country of Kuwait. You know, so you know, basically, the, you know, as I said, they're the best fans in the world. What was the most memorable experience out here? Um, meeting all the U.S. Army guys and uh, actually looking at the tanks. I'm, I'm into the, I'm into a lot of the guns and all that stuff. So it, it was uh, real nice driving around in the Hummers and all that. So it's been it's been a good good uh, all round day. If you had a chance to do it again, would you? Yeah, I would. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, and the helicopter ride was awesome. All right. Is there anything you want? Anything else you want to add about today? No, I just uh, thank the. Uh, U.S. Army for letting me come over here and uh, see what they do. It's a lot harder than what I do, I'll tell you that. I'll give them credit where credit's due. They're the best. All right, thanks. Bye. Uh, first thing I need is your name and title. I'm Brett the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, the greatest wrestler in the history of the World Wrestling Federation, technically. And that's what I am. All right, can you talk just a little bit louder? Um, it's kind of windy and these guys are making some noise. Let me talk 
introduce myself again? Uh, yes, please. Uh, my name is Brett the Hitman Hart of the World Wrestling Federation. I'm generally known as the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. All right. What do you think about today? Uh, well, you know, for me, it was really fascinating just to just see it up close and you know, uh, you, you, just coming to Kuwait was interesting, but also coming here and uh, and uh, seeing the forces and seeing the, uh, it's amazing how many of the, the guys were really glad to see us. You know, and I think that made made us all three of us feel really special. And uh, just the, to see the tanks up close and and uh, the equipment and everything is uh, pretty mind boggling. What was the most memorable part? I like the Bradley. The fact that uh, they can be up and moving in five minutes, and uh, just just the, the sort of the whole um, psych behind being inside of Bradley, and being in that kind of situation, uh, must be a pretty heavy experience. And, uh, it's, that, that to me was the heaviest thing that I saw. At least I thought. Uh, what did you expect when you came out here? Um. And did it live up to your expectations? Did you see it? Or? Uh, it just sort of um, magnified it. You know, it just brought it really closer. You know, I, you see a lot of things on TV and you see a lot of things in movies, but it really doesn't explain it or doesn't really uh, capture it. And especially when you you're right in the heart of these these tanks and this equipment, this million dollar machines, it's, and to, to imagine the, what they can kind of havoc they can wreak on somebody you know it's it's, it's pretty pretty intense stuff it, it was it's it brought it much closer to to the front of what I you know anything I've ever read about or, or, or uh, saw on a TV show is there anything you want to add about your trip out here to visit the soldiers today well just that I think I uh, you know I, I can relate to them out here a little bit and I, I was you know the, the when the, when they asked us about coming out I wanted to make sure that I came out I have. Um, I'm from Canada, but my, my family's from America, and my you know my uh, my uncle, for example, was a, he's a retired three-star general in the U.S. Army, named General Forrest out of Colorado. And, you know, uh, we have a, sort of a military background on that side of our family, and and I just so, sort of sense that um, it'd be nice to come out and see the the, the, you know, the guys up front and, and the girls. And, and it was amazing to me not only that they were kind of up to date on what I've been doing sort of following uh, you know the fact that my brother and I are scrapping and whatnot and that we're buddies now it, it was really nice to see everybody up close and I think I related to the fact that the sacrifice that they make and uh, you know how much they all miss home and you know it's nice to see somebody from from home come out and just say hi and I think um, for me sitting around a hotel or sitting around a Kuwait City there you know I'd much rather come out here today and uh, Paid my respects to the U.S. Army. All right, thanks. What's your uh, first name? My first name is Lauren. How do you spell that? L-O-R-E-N. Okay, and your last name is Morgan. Morgan. Okay. And what unit are you with? I'm with uh, Bravo 182 Field Artillery. Okay, and you just talk about five times louder than that. Yeah. All right. That's a lot louder. All right. Okay. Uh, so, what did you think about them visiting today? I think it was a a real special thing for the wrestlers to come out with uh, their hard uh, uh, life, with their travel and all that. They have a tough time seeing their families as much as uh, we have to see our loved ones back home. And uh, being a big wrestling fan that I am, and being out here, uh, it'd probably be a once in a lifetime thing, seeing them, me being here in Kuwait with all the other 1,200 soldiers, and then uh, having the wrestlers come here. Uh, it's a, a big positive with the wrestling business, with the, with the superstars coming out, paying their tributes to, to the soldiers, and letting uh, us know that they care about us, even though that we're at home watching them on TV, and uh, they still know that what we're doing out here uh, means a lot to them. Anything? I mean, what? Anything. Yeah, I think uh, uh, First of all, who's your favorite? Uh, it's got to be Brett Hitman Hart. And what do you think about the visit today? Well, uh, it's a good morale booster. You know, kind of made everybody feel good around here. Have some people come over. Um, <laughs> as you see, you see all these guys are happy too, you know. Uh, oh, just a big morale booster mainly, that's it.
Alright, and what are you? T-H-R-I-E. Florida. What unit? I'm Alpha 4 Alpha 4 5. Idiot. Okay, let me get a quick picture of you. Hey, Sanchez. We're gonna have the whole Okay. I need your name, rank, and unit. Okay, um, Morgan. Rank, E4. Unit your 27 MSB. Hey! Hey! <laughs> no, it's not. Specialist? <laughs> yes. Okay, how do you spell your name? A L I C E. Morgan M O R G A N. Alright, uh, who's your favorite wrestler? <coughs> Shawn Michaels. And what do you think about them visiting today? I think Shawn should have came. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think about them visiting? What is it, you know? Um. I think they're bored. I don't know. I just wanted Sean to come. That's all we wanted to say. We wish Sean would come. See, I want Sean. She wants to challenge him. We can use that, can't we? We can try. Thanks. We'll see if they let us. Can I? I gotta get a picture of you. <laughs> Can I stand right over here? Oh, you're good. What's up? Yeah. 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 Maybe you can say it. Get your buddy. <laughs> One, two, three. All right. Make sure the black hawk don't stand by for you. We got no new weights over there. This thing wants to be powered by it. On the hard man, Gary. Hey, he said he could take you guys. <laughs> Where's he gonna take us? You can hurt right here. Take it to the strip joint around here. Oh, there's one. One red light district, but they won't. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 